Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's me, Captain Energy. Today we're going to talk about Rex files and samples. And the reason we're talking about this is because it has come up about uh, in the past week that the new Mimic sampler from Reason does not utilize Rex files. Um, it doesn't play them, and uh, some people are saying, and it doesn't make them. Well, that's fine because not many things make Rex files. Reason does. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. All right, so <clears throat> about 22 years ago, a little company called Propelhead Software was working with Steinberg Software at the time, who is the maker of Cubase, and created a technology called Rex. Rex was a way of taking long samples with individual hit points to them, like a drum beat. So you'd have your kick, we'll say a four on the floor kick drum. You'd have kick, kick and clap, kick, kick and clap, you get the idea and what would happen is you would want that drum beat to be able to play uh at different tempos well at the time audio stretching technology wasn't that good it was super slow um i mean i can tell you right now i've taken at the time i took samples that were you know two minutes long and tried to make them play in uh, a minute and 40 seconds, we'll say, for example, and it would take 45 minutes to convert the sound from one uh, tempo to another. It was not a fast process. So propeller heads in their, you know, all their wisdom created a way to take that sample and say, hmm, if we detect that in this four beat one bar loop, there are four hits one, two, three, four at each kick drum, and we slice them up at that kick drum and then create a MIDI file to trigger those samples on a hardware sampler at the time, now software sampler, times have changed. We can simulate that instrument being played at whatever tempo the user wants to play it at. And that was genius. At the time, I was doing something similar uh, on my own. I was using Cool Edit Pro and uh, slicing my wave files uh, at usually on 16th notes type thing, depending what was there. Uh, but I would slice it and take those pieces and then reassemble them on and play them with MIDI off my sample cell, which happened to be a device that did support Rex once Rex came around. Digit Designs created this sampler that was a one card sampler that you put into your PC or your Mac and had uh, four stereo outs. The thing was genius. It was amazing. Very inexpensive and really good um, for the time. So Reason Studios, now Reason Studios, then Propelheads created this technology, created a product called Recycle, which I'm hearing people say it's gone. It's no longer available. It's still available. It's $99. It's still being maintained and you can get it off of the Propelheads slash Reason Studios website. I'll put a link down below in the comments just so you can, or in the uh, description, just so you can find it. If you want it, it's good. I still use it. I mean, I still use Recycle. It works great. The new Mimic sampler doesn't do anything with, um, with Recycle uh, or RX, uh, Rex files, rather. It doesn't do anything with Rex files. If you try and open a Rex file in it, just for the heck of it, we're going to look at that real quick. Okay. Here is Mimic, boom. Here, on Drive M, are some Rex files that I just made today to play with. When I try and open it, boom, it, it doesn't even, it's like, oh, I don't know what to do with that. I'll just revert to Dr. Octorex, which Dr. Octorex, <laughs> does know what to do with them. It splits them across all the keys, as I mentioned, and triggers each sample individually. Now, just to give you a look at what this looks like, I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna open this up, and we're gonna hit this little button right here. It says copy loop to track. Now, what it's gonna do is, see down here, I have a left and a right map mapped off here. It's going to fill that area with key triggers to play back this sample. So here we go, watch. I click copy loop to track, boom. 
And now, as you look down here, you can see the notes doing this like kind of like a diagonal line, diagonal line. It's a little kind of looks a little whoop like that. That's because the length of the individual uh, pieces, some are shorter, some are longer. Um, I'm going to turn off right here. I'm going to turn and disable loop playback because that will uh, that will allow us to actually see. I have this triggered from the MIDI notes. Ready? Let's look in here at this little bit here. And you can see, as I said, every note from slice one through slice, uh, I think we're up to 25, is that right? 25 or 26, my, yeah, I'm gonna go at 25. Up to 25, each one is triggered on time here. So if I went over here and, and triggered these, See what I'm saying? I could also play them off my keys or my, my pads. That's, you know, just a Rex file that I made earlier. So I could have done that with, the, with uh, Reason. I could have done that with Recycle. I could have done that with anything. How do you make them in Reason, though? Because uh, the question is primarily, how can I use these files well, I'm using Reason, or how can I use these files with Mimic? You can't use them with Mimic. Like I said, we've already gone over that. What you could do is you could uh, render the bits of this file. We'll take the first part, okay? I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna hit Bounce in place. Boom. And now it bounces to audio, right? I could take that little bit Bounce to a new sample. Sorry, so we have to take one more little step here. Bounce clip to new sample. Boom. And now there's the clip. Okay. Now I can bring that right in here, drop it in. Since I recorded it at 120. It keeps the speed. play chords with it i can do anything i want now given you know because i'm changing chords in there that kind of ruins a little bit yeah we've got this new feature that uh, gets rid of the pitch of uh, a sound but yeah or we could just take that audio bit that we now have as a Rex file, whatever, you know, take that Rex file, render it to audio. I'm gonna do that right here. Boom, okay. Take this, bounce in place. Take that, bounce that to a sample. Hip hop bounce to two. I'm gonna bring that over here. I'm gonna drop that in the second slot. I'm gonna hit slice mode. And here we go. Now, just like in Recycle and uh, as I was showing you with the audio slices earlier, we have the ability to get rid of these bits. So if we say we want this to be this much of the loop. Okay, we just double click each of these arrows. Now, just by getting rid of a few of those, we can create new patterns new trigger points I mean yeah 
also we have a ton of other kinds of controls down here uh and and that's the whole thing with rex files i mean yeah okay rex files are cool and they work great with dr octorex they work fantastic with uh with kong uh but essentially all in a, it really is is a bunch of slices of audio files you can render that file down to an audio file and import that into mimic throw it in a slice mode and bam you're done that's all there is to it um or if you have uh audio in here that you want to render out as a, a rex file okay uh don't don't fret i mean really because all you've got to do once again i'm going to go in here and we're just going to go i'm going to bring this over here for a sec we're just going to do a quick little recording session here okay here we go okay now let's look at my audio files here or my my triggers control all i'm just going to quantize this puppy and now we're going to take this i'm going to do some quick little work with this let's see okay so now we've got a little bit that we put together from there okay Ready? We take this. Go up top. I right click. I hit bounce in place. Boom. Go over here, right click it again. Normalize clip. Boom. One more time. Bounce. To a new sample. There's a bounced sample. Or I can go in here and hit slice mode, bounce to Rex loop. And we just made a Rex loop from this is kind of Inception incarnate. Okay, we took a Rex file into. Dr. Octorex, rendered it to audio, bounced that audio back to a Rex file, took that Rex file, uh, you rearranged a little bit, bounced it to audio again, brought that audio into Mimic, took Mimic, put it in slice mode, which brought it to the point that it had individual keys per, per bit of sound, rearranged it by playing it, Recorded it, bounced that to audio, <laughs> took that audio, went into slice mode again, viewed it in slice mode, slice edit mode, and then turned that to a Rex file. So don't think that you can't make Rex files with Mimic. You can make them with Mimic. Reason is Propeller Heads created Rex files. They're not going to leave you stuck in a way that you can't make a rex file use a rex file in some way there's definitely a way to get around anything you need to get around um if you have any questions hit me up in the comments i'll be glad to get back to you i really hope you found this video useful because this is uh, i mean this is a, a really cool bunch of little tips that i put together here and i hope that you'll like it if you did like it please click the like if you want to subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel click alert so you'll know when new videos come up and i will be here for you in the future let me know what you guys need i will definitely try and find ways to get it to you um i mean musically that is anyway you know well have an awesome day everybody i will see you in the next one peace